Hi, I'm James, and welcome to Irish Angry Adventures. So, what am I doing? I'm clearly not fishing right now, but I am sitting down just looking up new fishing marks that I want to fish in the next few months. And I said, while I'm doing it, the best thing I should probably do is show you the websites I use and how I use them to find these new marks. So, all the links for the websites will be in the description below. And we're just kind of going to go through the few steps that I use to find these marks. Now, when I'm trying to find a new mark, I have to ask myself four questions. Where do I want to go? Can I get to where I want to go? Can I actually get on the access to the mark? And then last but not least, what's the ground like? Now, I try to answer at least three of those questions, but having the ground is a huge advantage, but it's not always possible and you'll see why. Now, I'm going to take this as an example. Um, I want to go fishing a spot in Cork. Now, I've heard Gary Bow is good, so let's go have a look at Gary Bow. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto Google Maps here. I'm just going to scroll around and see where I can get access. Now, I've been told in front of the hotel is a good spot, so let's look there. So, the hotel is just here, and we can see, okay, it looks like there's a car park. It looks like there's rocks, and other than that, you don't really see anything else. So, the first thing that most people are going to do, straight into street view, pop down. So, I want to see if I can get in. Okay, first problem we see there's a barrier. So if you're driving a high roof van or a camper van, you're probably not getting in there. Jeeps, cars, they're all fine. But we can see, okay, it looks like there's a bit of park in here. You could probably just leave the car and there's a hair shoulder just here. Yep, there we go. The hair shoulder, we can just leave the car there as well. So cool, you can get close enough to the mark. So we'll pop back out of this and we're gonna just have a look with street view again. We can get closer again. Okay. Looks like the tide comes almost all the way up to the rocks. So, we can have a look. So you can see there's kind of hard sand there. So that means the tide comes all the way up. So, especially in the middle of the summer over high tide, you don't want to be fishing here because there's probably going to be a lot of people walking. You're just going to be people's way. You're going to be a hazard. So it's not worth standing here. The middle of the summer, a high tide. But maybe during a night session, might be even better. Okay, so that's good. So next thing then you have to know, on Google Maps, there's two different types of street view. You've got the one that we just used twice there now, which is the normal Google street view. And the second one are called photospheres. The photospheres are community uploads. So that's someone's been there and they've taken a photo and they've uploaded it. So they're not in every location, but they're in most popular locations. So you can see there are these little circles here. So if we just pop into one of them, so you can see, okay, we've got the beach at a wholly or a completely different level. So we're at, looks like nearly low tide, judging by how much sand is exposed. And we can see, okay, there's a good bank of sand here, good depth of water here over high tide. And so, okay, we're starting to build up a representation of what the beach is actually like. We can see clean sand. Okay, we can see there's a rock outcrop here, possibly a sandbank here, judging by there's a few waves. And it's fairly flat, more rock out here. So you can see that this is a pretty clean sandy beach. It's gonna be rays, flounder, bass, that sort of thing. Okay, you're building up a representation. Now, bear in mind this is January 2015 when this specific photo was taken. And because these photospheres are uploaded by people, they're uploaded at all different times. So let's just pop into a different one. Let's try this one. Okay, so this is September 2017, a few years earlier or later. And we can see the beach is fairly consistent. Uh, we still got this sand and rock here. And then look, the sand has moved and we've a bit more exposed rock. So it is worth just popping around them photospheres just to get a better build up of the, the beach. And same thing, bit of weed. So it is liable to weed up from time to time. But okay, as I said, building up a picture of the beach. So the second website then I use is a website called Geohive. It's available here in Ireland, not in the UK, but I'll show an alternative to it in a minute. So. When you go into Geohive, pop open this, click on Aerial Premium and Digital Globe. These I find are the best ones. And you can see straight away what I'm looking at is a very different picture to what we were looking at in Google Maps. So if I just zoom out a touch, you can see nothing. You just see water. If we go back to Geohive, okay, straight away we can see rocky outcrops and we can see clean sandy channel. And you can slide these around to get a different picture. So this one is 2011, 2013, whereas Aerial Premium is between 2013 and 2018. So just bear that in mind. But what we can see is stuff that says consistent. So let me just hide this a bit. 
so we can see that these rocks seem to stay here and we've got this clean sandy channel that seems to stay there all the time so if i wanted a fishing side or in front of the hotel this is an area i'd be targeting because most of your bait is probably going to sit in these channels or be pushed through those channels so that's where your fish are going to lie obviously so if i position here try target this outlet or this outlet because it's the tide's going to push it in and out and fish are going to use it as a bit of a corridor to get around now if you want the fish for rays bass flounder that's the spot i would try if you went going trying to get dogs or huss or conger then obviously you're going to try the the rock your outcrops and as i said you can just scroll up and down the beach and have a look around now obviously as i said if you're not in ireland then your other alternative is bing maps so just flick on aerial here now you can see it's not as good as what geohive was but it's worth keeping in mind because geohive in some locations isn't as good and bing maps might be that a little bit better same with google maps they all just show a different one but it's handy having those three in your repertoire so we can see those rocks there so you can still see you can target those channels and it's just good to know so if we wanted to scroll up the beach maybe you don't want to fish the beach maybe you want to fish up one of these rockier marks well you don't really know what it's like so most people are probably aware of navionics if you're not it's a sonar mapping app so if someone has an avionics unit on their boat a depth finder then this uploads the data that we can all view so just first thing i always do go in here and turn on satellite and then i'll just go across and turn on sonar close all that okay so what we're looking at here are the contour lines of the, the water and if i wanted to go up here okay i want to fish this area here because it looks like contour lines are grand steep a bit of depth of water here so there's a bit of a, a good good slope here probably fishing off a rock straight down now to bear in mind the green here is where a boat has never been so there's no depth charter there that either means it's too shallow or it dries out at low low tide so we don't know what's here exactly but here we can get okay there's a bit of a slope there and we're going to be fishing into 10 meters of water now bear in mind that is the low tide reading at high tide if you had a three meter tide add three meters onto that you're going to be fishing into 30 meters of water and if you wanted to see how far okay if i know i have a 100 meter cast with double sand eel then drop that down to 100 meters and you know where you're going to be fishing you get the picture but one thing you don't know, so if I scroll up here and I wanted to fish, I think it was here. One up. We have no idea if we can fish it. And look, we have no photospheres because no one's been here. So how do I know I can actually get there? So in Ireland 2003, there was a photo of, or sorry, there was a coastal survey done and a helicopter went around taking photos. So what you can do is open up this website, just close this, scroll down, turn on this, click on this and what I like to do again is just turn on satellite because it's just I can read it a bit better okay so we wanted to fish this outcrop here click it down now we've got an image of actually what the rock looks like so you can actually build up a bit of um what would you say you can see if you can get to marks and um, there's no point in driving all the way here if you were somewhere else in the country driving all the way down yep that's where I want to fish get there you're 30 feet off the water you're never going to land the fish there so it's worth knowing that this website exists and you can actually click along and you can see, oh, I can't, I can't get the water, better move on to a different spot. So those are websites I use. Um, they, they have definitely gotten to me the marks that I've gotten amazing fish off and I hope that they'll get you fish to be fish of a lifetime, even a fish of 2021. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe. And if you have any websites that you use that I haven't pointed out, stick them down in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching.